It's moments for some Jonesboro neighbors who were awakened by the sound of gunfire early Tuesday morning as homeowners confronted two people trying to break into their car. Well, tonight we're hearing from the homeowners about the scary and dangerous situation, and Fox 5's Joy Dukes has more on their story. And that homeowner says the two men tried to break into her son's car and when he came outside to see what was happening, they opened fire and one of the bullets hit the window shutter there. Another bullet struck the garage here as she tells Fox 5 she's just grateful they missed her son. My son had yelled yo and next thing I know they just started shooting. Jonesboro resident Cassandra Thomas says her son Michael is lucky to be alive after an early morning encounter with two men trying to break into his car ended in gunfire Tuesday. One word you shoot at me, that's crazy. Clayton County police say the shooting happened just before 3 o'clock on Winding Way Lane when her son heard someone going through his trunk and went outside. We both run downstairs um, armed. Video from Thomas's doorbell camera captured the moments Michael ducked for cover as bullets flew in his direction. What I witnessed was my son falling to the left. I literally thought he, he, he had gotten hit and he was dead. A neighbor's security camera caught the suspects, two men seen here running away. This has got to stop. Thomas says just a week after the shooting death of 54 year old Dean Phillips, a fellow member of her church who was killed confronting thieves breaking into cars on North Highland Avenue. This situation hits even closer to home. They're not just running away. They're coming armed with intent clearly to shoot because that's what they did to my son which means intent clearly to possibly take a life. And she's concerned to see the violence around car break-ins increasing. Now, Thomas says their car was unlocked, so they're going to be more careful in the future. She says they're also planning to install more cameras and better lighting around their home. And she's asking anyone with information to give Clayton County Police a call. In Jonesboro, Joy Dukes, Fox 5 News.